Hello everybody. On this video, I will show you how to fix factory reset problem in Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7 with the following error message, could not find the recovery environment. Insert your Windows installation or recovery media, and restart your PC with the media. This error usually occurs if the recovery disabled or deleted from your laptop. I will explain three methods so you can solve this problem, whatever its source. Method number one. Type CMD into search box. Right click on command prompt and select, run as administrator. Type the following command to see if the Windows recovery environment enabled or not. Reagency slash info. As you can see, Windows RE status is disabled on my PC. To enable it, type the following command and hit enter. Reagency slash enable. If reagency slash enable not working with the following error message. Reagency.exe, unable to update boot configuration data. Execute the following command to fix that. Dir slash a slash sc colon backslash winry.wim. You may need to replace C with the letter of your Windows partition if the Windows installed to another partition or if the manufacturer of your laptop changed the default directory to another partition. Now, enable Windows recovery environment using the following command. Reagency slash enable. We have done successfully. Method number two. If the first method failed, you have to add the path of Windows recovery environment as followings. Execute the following command to search for winry.wim path. dir slash a slash sc colon backslash winry.wim. Type the following command without hitting enter. Reagency slash streamage slash path. Copy the path of winry.wim file and paste it after the command then hit enter. The followings are the common default paths for winry.wim file. C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash recovery. C colon backslash recovery backslash windows re. Now, enable windows recovery environment using the following command. Reagency slash enable. Execute reagency slash info again to make sure the windows recovery environment enabled. Method number three. If you get file not found error after executing dir slash a slash sc colon backslash winry.wim, that means the winry.wim file is not on the C partition. So try to replace C with all partitions in your PC one by one. If you get the same error with all partitions, that means the winry.wim file is not available in your computer and you should add it manually to the default path from Windows installation media like DVD or USB drive. If you do not have a DVD of Windows installation, download a Windows ISO file that is similar or newer than your Windows version and build number. See video description to learn how to download Windows 10 from the official Microsoft website. You can know the version and build number of your Windows from the first line in the command prompt or by hitting Windows plus R keys from keyboard then type Winver and hit enter. Mount the DVD drive of Windows installation media or double click the ISO file of Windows to open it. To know the version and build number of Windows in DVD, USB, or ISO file, execute the following command. Dism slash get info slash wim file x backslash sources backslash install dot wim slash index one. Replace X with the letter of DVD or mounted ISO file. Download and install the 7Z app from links in video description. Open 7-Zip File Manager app. Open Windows Installation Media from inside the 7-Zip app. Open Sources folder. Double-click on install.wim file to open it. Open folder number 1 and go to the following directory. X colon backslash sources backslash install dot wim backslash one backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash. Replace X with the letter of DVD or mounted ISO file. Locate recovery folder and select it. Click on copy option. Change the path to documents folder. Open Documents folder. Copy the recovery folder to the following path. C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash.
Replace the old folder with new one if you asked for that. Now, back to command prompt and execute the following command. dir slash a slash sc colon backslash winry.wim Execute the following command to enable Windows recovery environment. Reagency slash enable. Execute the following command to make sure the Windows recovery is enabled. Reagency slash info. Notice that the path of Windows recovery environment changed from default path inside Windows partition to another partition after enabling it. In addition, the partition of enabled recovery environment will be different from laptop to laptop based on disk scheme whether as GPT or MPR. Let's see if the factory reset will work or not. Close command prompt and try again to reset your system. Choose the first option if you need to do a system reset without losing your files. If there is no important files in your computer, choose the second option to remove everything on the C partition. If you still unable to proceed with Windows Reset, try to disable WinRE then enable it again by executing the following commands. Reagency slash disable. Reagency slash enable. After that restart the Windows and try again to reset your computer. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe.